So with nothing more than four trash bags, straw, and a few rocks, we were able to take my three season survival shelter and turn it into a blizzard and winter ready survival shelter. I'm Chris Thorne, and this is my seven day, $20 dollar store survival challenge. In this challenge, there's only one rule. Take my limited kit and do what I've got to do to make it out the other side. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it got really cold last night, but I had this one who's being a butthead because now it's probably like, I don't know, like 8.30 in the morning. <sighs> no, I know it's not Arctic cold, but for South Texas, it, I mean, it felt like, oh God, it felt like 35, 40 degrees, which is substantial considering, was it day three? <laughs> 85 so there was a big temperature fluctuation but um Bella kept me warm I put my gloves on for my hands because that's all I had and I kind of just like hunkered down like this and like wrapped around her she was a good pup though well today has been whew, the official first day I need to get a fire starter for warmth because I am freezing now, jute, I've noticed, is an excellent fire starter, but it doesn't last very long. And any cordage you guys see me cutting off, I always save it and fluff it up because I don't want to waste it, any resources if I can help it. And if I expend enough resources on something, it's because I feel it's worth it. It may not be true. I may be doing it a wrong way because totally human. There we go. That's what I am talking about right there, buddy. Oh yes, 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 yes. Crazy kook. Ugh. I don't want it too close to the fire. Last thing I need is my butt catching on fire. My butt was cold. I totally was like, I totally spaced. Yeah, I had a chair built. Probably because I keep using it as like a pillow rest or for my neck. Helps a lot. I can go check the traps today, see if the fishing trap did anything. I don't know though, usually with colder weather, colder water, a lot of the fish don't really like to move as much, so I like to bunker down, but who knows? I'm gonna warm up here for a few minutes, get myself energized, and we're gonna take this day on head charge even though I'm a little more tired now that we're at day five because I have less calories the, the weather is colder it's gonna it's slow me down a little bit but I'm gonna keep pushing ahead I think the most prudent thing is to go check the traps Go check the uh, primitive stone trap, and we'll go check the fish trap. Get everything ready to go. All right, I'm gonna use my paracord and my knife. So if we want to do anything in the field, I can. Should be good to go. Let's roll Eosis. <laughs> She's got a sprightly little bit of energy. I think it's because the sun's out today. We're going down to the creek. We're gonna go check the first stone one stick primitive trap. I want to give another shot at the corporal's corner for uh, giving that tutorial, it was awesome. The sponsor of today's episode is the Big D Bag subscription service, offering some of the best and most useful gear for the avid outdoorsman and hunter in your life. Their promise is no fluff or BS items ever. Head on over to BigDBag.com and discover how $40 per month can change your experience in the wild. That link will be down in the video description. She's gonna go scout for me. She's gonna let me know if I got anything down there. Oh my goodness. I think we ran into some clever rascals. All the bait is gone from this trap. Oh wait, this is pretty sturdy. I think the mud might have dug into it a little bit more. It's not going off. Oh no. Okay, well, we'll go by the river, check that out, because all my pecans are gone. Freaking raccoons, man. Bella, what did you find off in the woods? Look at this girl right here, look at it. Look at this huge hog deer 
Cow bones everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you coming to join me, baby? Come on. Let's go. See if we got anything in the fish trap. Can you get across? No, I don't think she can get across. But she's drinking the water, so that's the thing. I got a ton of leaves. <laughs> okay. Nothing in that trap. We'll probably relocate this a little bit later. You all right, Bella? Need some help, baby? Come on. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. That's not a pool. Yeah, you're all wet. You okay? Come on. Come on, there you go. Good girl. Well, I know someone who's gonna have to warm up by the fire today. Poor puppy. <laughs> that was a rude awakening. <laughs> She's certainly uh, feeling that effervescent feeling though. Here you go. Here's your big reward. There you go. Have at that. Ooh, you are wet, girl. You're gonna dry off in the sun. So the traps were a bust for right now. But we're gonna adjust fire, get those things ready. We've got a few things over here that I wanna do, like rehydrate, warm up a little bit. It's a lot colder out here. If I didn't have my muck boots on and this jacket, I would be freezing my cutooties off. But so far, everything's kosher, we're doing good. I'm excited, because it's day five and I've got some big ideas still, even though we only have two or three days left. I can't wait too well, let's uh, make it happen. You sunbathing? Yeah, yeah, sunbathing. I, I don't blame you. Fire nice and roaring. Warm up. Warm up. Next time, try not to take a swim, okay? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. Have one of those big old catfish just swallow you up, and then I gotta eat the catfish to get back at it, you know what I'm saying? Well, I know it's not as exciting as a catfish, but, uh,. Got like six pecans left. We're gonna go down there, go grab some more. <laughs> Bella looks like she's enjoying herself with her bone, having a good time drying off. So I'm gonna leave her out there, let her kind of cool off a little bit. She can get by the fire if she wants, but time to go get some food. So this is the absolute best place in the entire forest that I know of so far to find wild pecans. Why? There's one, two, three, four, four total pecan trees that we have access to and it's amazing it's right here by the creek it's awesome it's also where i set my primitive trap and about 300 yards that way we set the fishing trap So this literally took like 45 minutes of searching. This is 45 minutes of my day, but the calorie content and the nutritional value from these are second to none as far as the nuts go that I've ever had in my life. So they're a little bit of work, but you get 
nice big huge pecan half it's totally worth it guys remember this isn't going off very easily because i think we need to reset it and that's what i aim to do so we're gonna have a handful of pecans we're gonna see if we can make this more of a hair trigger yep it really dug in there had a really good anchor well, hello bella how are you how did you find me i'm like a half a mile away <laughs> All right, so there's this little piece of wood right here. Really small. See if I can keep that from, I'm gonna bury that into the ground. See if I can utilize that, keep that from burying into the ground, and keep it more sensitive. Whoa, this is a heavy rock. Last thing I wanna do is hurt my hand. This is a good, you know, 40 pound rock. This is not a lightweight. So we're gonna crack some nuts open and uh, get to eating. There we go. 30 minutes later, all the pecans I could ever want and the shell graveyard. She's not approved of my pecan diet. I don't blame you, Captain Carnivore. While you're cracking them up, and you get an entire half. You sure you're gonna eat it? I'll give it to you, but you're not gonna eat it. No? I she took it, maybe. Who knows? No, she went back in the sun and spit it out. Mm-hmm. That was really good. And I'm getting ready to do some work on the shelter. Yeah. Super active puppy. My ever watchful guardian. Right there. <laughs> she's tired though. That uh that cold dip she's finally gotten dried off, so but I had do have, speaking of which, I do have a few things on the shelter that I want to work on. <sighs> Knife, trash bags. I need another one. All right, so this is gonna be pretty simple. Not gonna be very complicated at all. Just opening these things up, cutting them open. There we go. Now we have more coverage on both sides. All rigged up, good to go. I might do something on the back end too, just so we get a little bit more coverage on all sides. But honestly, overall, that needs to be some type of door or like a flap or something because of the fact that I want to be able to still get in and out really easy. All right, so one of the most important things you wanna do is add straw, pine boughs, anything you can, leaves, if you can, to create insulation on the floor. Now I have a ground cover and that's a good start, but this will get me off the ground even higher to protect me from the winter cold as the weather cools down and the moisture from the soil actually tries to draw and suck your heat out. All right, so if you saw this on day one, this is my jacket that I have insulated, which I'm using basically as a sleeping pad, mostly for comfort and insulation. But when the weather was only getting down to about 55 to 60 degrees at night, this was perfect. But now that I'm experiencing 50 to 45 degrees as the high temperature when the sun is out and it gets down to 35 degrees at night when it's cold here in South Texas, this is going to be vital to have the added straw, to have that extra layer. It is going to be paramount. But as you can see, the back is exposed and so is the front. And we're gonna solve that problem right now. Yep, that'll work. Cool. 
That was my hobo measuring stick. <laughs> Take this stick and some extra trash bags. I'm gonna build some doors. Go ahead. Lock down the doors. You can roll it up. Now I can lock this down. Widen it out. I still got my access door, but I'm protected on more sides now. All right, so we got the fire relit. Everything's good to go on that front. I spent a little too much time getting the shelter winter ready, but worth it in my opinion. So now I gotta go down to the creek and move my fishing trap to hopefully find a better home for it so we can catch some fish. All right, guys, there's an armadillo right here. I don't have anything on me to snag it. But they don't move that fast. Where'd he go? He's around here somewhere. I'm not sure which way he went. But I had him for a second. I've never had armadillo before. I'm not against it. That's a really deep crevasse. That is where the creek is way down there. But it's like a 200 foot drop. So I don't wanna go too close cause it'll be a bad, oh yeah. Bad day if I'm not careful. There's a burrow. I wonder if he's in there somewhere. But the darkness is coming. Yeah, that's a burrow. Maybe I can come down there with a walking stick or a spear, see if I can be a little more effective tomorrow. Creatures are coming out right now because the weather has finally dried up. It was wet for two days and I think they're looking for food. So a uh, stick and my knife that's in my jacket ain't much, man, but Better than nothing. Trap still untouched. That's gonna change. As the sun has already crested over the hill. We got maybe 30, 45 minutes left down here. So fingers crossed on that bud boy. Yeah, nothing but uh, leaves <laughs> and the baits left, so. All right, so this area that we're going to, <laughs> I've had success with before, and the water's kind of calm. There's some tree cover right here, and I feel this might be a place that some creatures would go to get some respite from the current. So maybe we'll get lucky. All right, fingers crossed. Fishing trap is finally rehomed. Shelter is all ready for us tonight, baby. Yes, it is. So when the weather starts to drop, and I mean, it's already dropping. Whew. I feel that temperature, it's already gone down maybe eight to 10 degrees already since midday, which means once that sun finally crests over the horizon, it goes full dark, it's gonna get cold. Oh, by the way, cold by South Texas standards. So, you know, don't judge too harshly. My levitating ham. <laughs> that was the coolest thing yesterday. <coughs> Loved it. Alrighty. I can't wait to watch this thing levitate again. It was so funny. Probably my favorite, most entertaining thing in the night. Whew. Hot, 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 hot. Power of levitation. Is this not the coolest dumb thing you've seen all day? <laughs> 
Oh, it's too fun. I feel like Houdini. Rise ham! Slice this up all proper like. Tonight with Chef Thorne. Cutthroat Kitchen. Good stuff. Ooh, I hear that crackling and popping. Time for dinner. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for this all seasons gourmet luncheon loaf this evening. But on a serious note, I want to thank you for the wisdom to winterize my shelter so I don't freeze my off tonight. And that me and Bella will be much warmer this evening and be able to ride out this cold front. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I knew you were going to want some. I knows you better than you knows yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to give you a whole slice. It's Halloween. Why not? Tear it up, girl. There you go. You got to save some for me. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Come on. I haven't eaten all day other than my pecans. I know you want these now, though. These are like, Dad, this is the ticket. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the winter proofing, as it were, for my shelter. That's it, baby. It's all gone. You can lick the leftovers part, though, though. Oh, I'm almost out of water. I think I have some of my catchment system. Not a whole lot. Maybe a half a bottle's worth. So. Bella, come on, baby. Uh, uh, yes. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We have to get comfy. I got to lay these down. close our doors so we get warm but yeah oh that feels so much warmer baby doesn't it oh barely barely any breath we're warming up big time already no more breath popping off that's a good sign it's working baby yes it is all right guys well it's been a long day a fun day I've enjoyed this series so far. I hope you guys have just been blowing this thing up and loving it as much as I have. Just participating and trying this stuff out for you guys. But <sighs> I think I'm going to go to bed, man. Tomorrow's day six. Good night, y'all. Mm.